today we are back with another makeup transformation. Today we are going to be doing Euphoria. I'm sure you all know it. Euphoria is the widely popular and famous HBO television series. another makeup transformation. But today, we are going to be doing Euphoria. Euphoria is the widely popular and famous HBO television series. It stars Zendaya and Alexa Demi. It follows a group of high school teenagers as they explore adulthood and struggle with topics such as love, social media, and money. The cosmetics and fashion from Euphoria has made huge effects on the fashion industry of today and the trends of today. So after exploring a lot of the makeup looks from season one and season two, me and my makeup artist Martina have decided we're going to take inspiration from this lip makeup and this eye makeup right here. Add a little gemstones here and there and truly make it our own for our own euphoria makeup creation. So let's get started. So as always, before we started filming, I prepped my skin with skincare. I used a cleanser, a tonic, a serum, moisturizer, and a little bit of face oil. We're gonna start with the eyes and brows, as always. The first thing we're gonna do is use concealer on the eyelids to kind of even out the skin tone, and that creates a base for the eyeshadows. So instead of going for blue, like in the picture, we realized we don't quite a few blue makeup looks, so we're not gonna be repetitive, and we're going to do kind of a teal, sparkle. We're going to be using colors from this palette, the Zulu by Julius. This color and this color. So to make the colors really vibrant, we're gonna be building up the teal eyeshadow. So we're gonna be using a flat brush to really press in the glittery eyeshadow to my eyelid. You can spray setting spray or micellar water onto the bristles of the brush and it really helps. And now we're gonna do the other eye off camera. So we're gonna be using Inglot Liquid Eyeliner Gel for the eyeliner. So do you ever have issues where your eyeliner does not do the way you wanted it to? So now we're just going to show you how to fix it. And to fix the eyeliner, you're going to need a little bit of Duraline and a thin brush. So you're going to dip the brush in the Duraline and clean up under the wing. So we've done a little bit of a graphic eyeliner, we've created the line, we've thickened it, and then cleaned it up with a little bit of jar line. So I've just combed my lashes and we're gonna be using Lancome Mascara on my lashes. So now we filter my brows using brow powder and a little bit of gel. We have used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation on my face and we've applied it using a brush and a beauty blender to smooth it out and we've also put concealer around my eyes. So we've done a white waterline off camera because it can be tricky and then we make some jur line with some sparkly teal eyeshadow and put it on my lashes to give them a teal look. So we used the same black gel eyeliner we used on my eyelids for the little heart underneath my eyes and we sharpened the lines with jur line. You have to really take your time with these little hearts because after the graphic eyeliner it's probably one of the hardest parts of the makeup. I know they look simple and small, but they are quite difficult. Try not to blink much like I did. So, 15 minutes later, we have finally put the gems on.
We've warmed up my face with contour, we've put it on my jawline and my cheekbones, put blush on my cheeks, and then highlighter on the highlighted points of the face. So now we're moving on to the lips with more gems. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, we're doing more of them. We're starting off with the lip oil. We got the pearls on the lips. It was not as hard as we thought. I think the next challenge is trying to eat with this, but that'll be okay. Um, I really like the makeup look, actually. I feel like it's a matchup of every Euphoria makeup look ever. There's like everything in it. And we're gonna finish it off with Scandinavia's setting spray. So the makeup look is finally finished. When we got there, a huge thank you to my makeup artist, who is the genius behind all of this. Um, I'm very proud of our makeup look. I think it's like a mashup of every Euphoria makeup look ever because it's so detailed. I'm gonna get into the final outfit and then show you the final look. So here is the final look. I am so incredibly happy with the makeup. A huge thank you to my makeup artist, Martina. She brought all the versions to life. I think it is so cool, but um, every once in a while, I think it is really fun. I tried to match the outfit as best I could, although I don't own the exact clothes. I tried my best, so here is the final look. So here's a little tip for makeup removal. When you're taking off, for example, the eyeliner, it settles very well and it's a waterproof eyeliner gel, so you're gonna need to use oil infused cleansing water. You can see it's a little bit mixed, but there is oil and water. So it literally glides the makeup right off and makes makeup removal a lot more easier. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed my Euphoria makeup transformation. It was so, so much fun. Make sure you go check out our other makeup tutorials. We've done loads of K-pop and a little bit of Disney as well. There you go, I'll put the link up here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the share button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.